Are you amazed when I say, being a human being, I eat both egg and tomato? A cow cannot eat an egg, while a tiger cannot eat a tomato. All living organisms exhibit different food habits. Based on the food habits, animals are categorized into herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Herbivores are animals that eat only plant food. The word herbi means plant and vor means eater. Carnivores are animals that eat the flesh of other animals. The word carni means flesh and vor means eater. Likewise, omnivores are animals that eat both plant and animal food. The word omni means all and vor means eater. Herbivores are also called herbivorous animals. Their characteristics include having blunt teeth, special mouthparts, sharp teeth and ruminants. Blunt teeth are seen in animals like cows and horses. The cow has a blade-like structure in the front upper jaw, while a horse has blunt teeth that help to cut the grass. Back teeth are also blunt for grinding the grass well. Special mouthparts are seen in butterflies and honeybees to suck the nectar from the flowers. Sharp front teeth are seen in animals, like squirrels and rabbits. These sharp front teeth help to cut the carrots and open the nuts. The next characteristic feature is observed in ruminants. These are grass-eating animals, which include cows, giraffes, and horses. Ruminants cut the grass and swallow very fast. They bring back the food into the mouth during their free time and chew it properly. Carnivores are also called carnivorous animals, including tigers, lions, jackals, owls, etc. Let us observe characteristic features of carnivores, including sharp claws, side teeth, sharp beaks, swallowing completely, and injecting poison. Sharp claws are seen in the tiger and the lion to cut and tear the flesh of other animals. Likewise, side teeth are also sharp to cut and tear the flesh. Sharp beaks are seen in birds, like eagles, to cut and tear the flesh of other animals. Hence to add up, Sharp claws, side teeth and beaks are used by different animals to cut and tear the flesh. Swallowing the animal completely is seen in owls. Owls can swallow a mouse or a frog wholly. Insects like spiders can inject poison into another animal to paralyze it and dissolute it into simple forms which can be readily sucked. Furthermore, omnivores are also called omnivorous animals which include human beings, bears, crows, etc. Characteristics features of omnivores are that they can eat both plant and animal food with the help of well-developed body parts. Interestingly, bears climb the trees and eat the honey from the beehive. Apart from herbivorous, carnivorous, and omnivorous animals, there are two other groups, scavengers and decomposers. Scavengers are organisms that feed on the dead bodies of other animals. For instance, vulture feeds on the dead bodies of other animals and clean the surroundings. Decomposers are the animals that obtain energy from dead and decaying matter. For instance, bacteria and fungi are not animals but are decomposers that feed on decaying matter and clean the environment. Thus, we have studied food habits in animals. Summary Herbivores are animals that eat only plants and plant products. Carnivores are animals that eat other animals. Omnivores are animals that eat both plants and animals. Scavengers are organisms that feed on dead organisms. Decomposers are organisms that feed on dead and decaying matter.